So I just kind of want to contribute to the body count conversation for a second. Um, mostly because people have already had this conversation. I'll put links in the bio just for you to, you could just see for yourself. Like in order to understand like how many people someone has slept with, you need to talk to that person. Most people will tell you like one guy I dated, he had like a thousand bodies, which was nuts. Cause I, I couldn't even fathom like in my mind I was trying to understand like there's I was like there's no way you could possibly slept with that many people and he started explaining like how it worked and how he did it and all it was it was so strange and I think it was like at that moment that I realized like um okay like not all guys but there are some guys with a lot of access and they are having a lot of sex they just are with like a lot of really great like all those women on the fresh and fit podcast like you can kind of say what you want about their number of body counts or whatever but when you kind of like look at it and you think like think back to like when you were in high school and you were like a young woman and you were like oh like she's so pretty she's stylish like all the things that you think about when you're like oh this is this woman this girl is is pretty she's she's great like the Barbies or the princesses, like what, whoever the girls are that you're, that you're like, oh, the, uh, you know, they're great. They're going to be great. Whatever. Girlfriend, mother, what, uh, whatever it is. Like, um, the girls on the Fresh and, uh, and Fit podcast who are like saying all these things, you uh, like, what do you think? Like, how do you think guys are sleeping with these girls? So do you guys really think the girls are like out here every day? Just like, passing their panties around like do you know how easy it is for a girl to go out and get laid like it's actually like really easy like create like seriously easy okay like every dating app has it's like 90 percent dudes and like no women like and so okay so if and the other thing too like you guys are on the internet the same internet that i'm on all the girls who are on those podcasts talking about the dudes that they've slept with those are all like pretty attractive women so if those girls are up here telling you like first of all we can see from the evidence that those are those are the attractive women they're up here telling you about uh, the hookup culture and all all the things that are happening in society right and then we are sitting here listening to guys every day sitting here talking about oh i slept with this girl and this one i did this thing and i did that one and i did all this shit right and then everyone's like talking about oh wife this a wife is this a mother is that all a women are this and that be serious here how the fuck do you think that these guys got the guys whoever the guys are got those girls do you think those girls so you, so you guys think all of those girls like had bad parents like every single one of them because there's a lot of girls who go on that podcast, like so many of them. So you think all of those people had maybe awful parents. Maybe they were all ghetto. They were all poor. Like, because now we've seen it. They're of all races. They're of all ethnicities. They're probably from all different social classes. And like all the girls seem to have a very similar story. Like they were talking to a guy. They were in some sort of relationship situationship with these dudes and they're all like aggregating together to like be fuck boys fuck boys ruin the society by tricking women into just sleeping with them they'll they'll do all type of crazy shit like y'all don't see the other side and everybody keeps blaming the women like even listening to brett cooper talk about this she's talking about the women but i think that's because like brett cooper is like a tomboy type of girl who's like pretty um uh, i don't want to say she's like sheltered but like i don't know i don't think she sees it from the other side like brett cooper has never been to like an la party i don't think maybe she has i don't really know like it's not a, i don't know how do i say it like i don't feel like brett cooper and the girls from the profession fit podcast are like homies and friends maybe they are but i'm i just personally don't think so <laughs> to me it doesn't seem like that's the case um and so they're going to different events and even like if I think about myself like personally I don't hang around where other any group like I'm not a part of any group and there's this idea like I've heard uh guys say this they try to classify girls like 
they think all girls are the same. So some of like this, because most of them are just completely clueless about like how to chat with girls. So they'll talk to any girl and then the girl will tell them something. So this could be like the ugliest, fattest, like stupidest girl ever, a fucking retard mute. And they'll listen to her. She'll be like, oh, this and this and this, something that her father told her. They'll, they'll just say anything, this and this and this and this and this. And every, all these guys are sitting here being like, oh, this one's a wife oh this one's a blah 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 you know who the people who are wives are whoever got married that's who's now a wife whoever did not get married that's who's not a wife you know who's a mother the person who birthed the child you know who's not a mother the person who did not birth the child but that's kind of how this works like biology is kind of a thing and there are quite a lot of people alive and around right now who are like extra super 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 slutty who will go on to get married and have a family and do all the things not like it isn't this situation where the only people and the, the other thing i think um some of you will start to learn is this and it's not just an idea like genetics is real some people are breeding in order to go into a gadican future retards won't make it there they just won't they're going to die off from diabetes some other autoimmune an allergy a lot of the kids can't even have peanuts anymore they die from all of these things cardiac arrest okay like there's all of these ways that they die and we have all just been watching it and taking notes okay like my grandmother she lived to be like she died what was it like two weeks ago but she lived to be like 96 she partied her whole fucking life okay she never got married she had like nine children out of wedlock and never even had a job I mean, don't get me wrong, I think that, like, marriage, I think that marriage and children are useful. They're really useful for society, but I think that partnership and finances are much more important going into the future. Like, you have to find someone who is going to, who wants to be with you for you not selecting someone who has like a low body count and a good education those are things that I feel like some of our parents told us and one thing that you realize is like you might marry someone who has those things and you might actually fucking hate them which is why we see the divorce rate going up and up and up people are settling not for people that they actually like or love they're just settling because they're like well i want to live in this nice apartment i want to have this house i want this much money other people are like i only want to date really attractive people that that's what it is like i don't even if you're ugly i don't even want anything to do with you other people are dating for like height or intelligence like people are breeding for different reasons like there everybody has a different fucking reason okay like there's no one reason why somebody is selecting one person over another and so what i i want to be very clear here like and i feel like other people have said this there is not a plethora or a surplus of pretty girls there's not there's not what is happening is like the internet is giving you guys this false idea that like because you'll see one picture of one girl and they'll like uh what is it like share that everywhere right and they'll be like oh she's so pretty and they like they're trying to slut out all the pretty girls now which to an extent has happened that's why people have really high body counts right because like guys guys with jobs and money and cars and shit are going to like smash something they're gonna they're gonna smash something which is why we have like really high paid escorts now <laughs> We have all OnlyFans, all of these things where like women are being paid cash money instantly for sex, basically. The live-in girlfriend, like be serious, what is that? That is guy, a guy literally paying all the bills to have access to pussy. That's what that is, that's not another thing. We can try to like dress it up and pretend like it's something else, but like if those people that live in girlfriend situation if those people were really serious and they really loved each other why wouldn't they just be married 
like what you don't you the whole thing is people are testing the waters they're trying to like big like like they're trying to life max dating and it's just people are there's so many fucking reasons why couples don't work out you just might it, it just might be a person that you just fucking don't like you just don't fucking like them like, you, you start to live with them, you start to be around them, and you're just like, I fucking hate you. Maybe, like, they don't give you the sex that you want. They don't, or the way that you want it. They don't, um, they don't, they don't like the same food that you like. Their personality is just annoying as fuck. They're ugly, they're fat, they're smelly, they're, like, they're broke. Like, there's all these things that might make it so that you just do not want to be in a relationship with that person. Which is why it's just so important for everyone to, like, have, to do work on themselves. Like, you need to be a person that you want to be in a relationship with. Like, you actually have to be that, you need, you should be that person first. And that's why people are talking about, like, high-quality people. And they're saying it, though, as though there's, like, everybody has the potential to be a high-quality person. Every single person. You just need to, like, do work on yourself. And, like, some people have, like, a farther way to go. But the other thing I just want to be clear here, if you have a high body count, that doesn't mean you are a low value person. Like, that's bullshit. Like, especially, like, think about it like this. Um, women, right, they like cosmetics. Like, everybody likes the, the what can we say? Oh, okay, like the, the orgasm blush from NARS, right? It's so popular, Drake made a song about it. Everybody wants it right and most girls have it like they all it's so popular that everybody loves it and everybody bought it and everybody has it and everybody wears it and it's great so that's kind of the same way that like beautiful women are like there's not just one type there's like so many different kinds but like everybody wants them everybody wants to have access to them everybody wants a story with them obviously everybody who wants access to the girls can't have it mostly because like there's just not enough time in the day like there's only so many hours like i feel some of y'all are just so confused like there are the men who have the stories about dubai right how how all these these girls are getting like flown out to dubai they're getting like shat on all this shit it's like embarrassing stuff and then those girls are coming back here they're here they're in america right now they've they've been on youtube telling y'all stories about what's happening I mean, those girls aren't worthless, but they did go through something that was, like, embarrassing. Like, that was... What happened to them was awful. Like, nobody should go through that. That's fucking awful. Like, the, just think about the fact that there's actually people who are doing that shit to other people. Those people are awful. They're awful. It's just the whole thing is just, like... We need... We need a better, like how can I say it like everyone just needs to be out living for themselves as in like you need to especially like women like women need to take care of themselves first like take care of yourself first like make sure all your needs are met first and then consider dating and then consider marriage if that's what you want but maybe it isn't like, be serious here. This is the first time in history that, like, women of color, of color, especially black women, have ever had autonomy. Like, let us just be alive for a second. Like, let us just be alive for a second without being, like, slaves. Like, seriously. That, like, that is actually where we are in history right now. We, we just need examples of, like, black women just being alive. That's all. Just, just being alive. And that's it. Like, I don't think we need any titles of girlfriend, wife, nothing. Whatever birth name was given to you, we just need you to be that for right now. 